Right. Hi, I'm talking today to Donna Wren, who is uh, an accomplished runner and um, <laughs> coach. Um, Donna, I'll start by asking you, how did you start running? How did you get into it? Well, several years ago, over 20 years ago, I kind of uh, decided that I needed to get into better shape and to exercise more and lose weight. So I took a, a new, I made a new year's resolution to, to do just that and started working out some and just started incorporating running into my workouts and really liked it. And then um, my brother, unbeknownst to me, had actually run in the Chicago Marathon. And when I told him what I was doing, he talked me into joining him in a running group to run a marathon. And again, it was the Chicago Marathon the following year. So I, I did just that. I joined my brother. We, were, we at that time, did the uh, a run-walk group mm -hmm. and um, did my first marathon. It was 1996. And I just, I fell in love with it. It's amazing how many people start with a marathon. Yes, yes. Think and I would start with a 5k, but right. I actually had done a couple of 5ks and 10ks like several years before, but never kept up with running. Just had done, you know, worked a little, trained a little bit, did a couple, and that was the end of it. Mm -hmm. And how did you ultimately get involved with team and training? Well, my brother and I had run um, some a few marathons together, and we kind of decided that we were kind of well, you know, we need a better goal. And we had another brother who had Hodgkin's disease. Okay. So we were like looking into things and we're like, oh, well, let's do it for that because our brother had a blood cancer uh, and we wanted to go to Alaska. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we were running, we did a marathon in Anchorage, Alaska with team and training. And that's how I got started. That was in 1999. Wow. And when did you get, when did you start coaching? I'm, I started coaching, um, I don't even remember, I think it was a couple years later I, st I started coaching. I had done, since 1999, I have, I have uh, fundraised and done a, a marathon, and I, I also do triathlons, and I've done century rides with team and training, but since I first started, I fundraise every year. Oh, wow. Since 1996. Nice. And... Um, Talk a little about, about um, I, I feel like running is a sport that it, it doesn't just affect your physical health, but kind of your mental health, and it's a way people connect with each other. What's your experience been with that? Oh, absolutely. Running, it's kind of freeing. I, I take my time, like when I'm running by myself, of, you know, I do a lot of thinking and just kind of. You know, especially if I'm running in somewhere where there's a lot of nature, I just like to kind of absorb nature. Um, it's kind of, you know, calms me down after, you know, from my work and other, you know, things going on in, in my life and now in the world. Um, so running by myself, which sometimes is hard when it's long distances, but I really found that it's kind of freeing and gives you a lot of thinking time to yourself on a lot of reflection. But then I've also, when running with groups is wonderful too, because I have a lot of friends I've met through running and we go out running and you know you're with them for a long time so you really get to know people and have nice conversations yep mm -hmm. yeah I, I find that you also have a tendency to see people at their best and their worth and their worst and it kind of oh, yes. you know cements those friendships I think oh yes and and through team and training, I have some wonderful friends that I've met from running through team and training who I have been friends with for 20 years. Wow. And how would you say that the, the pandemic and the quarantine, how has that changed your running routine or has it? Um, oh, yeah. Well, of course, we have no group runs. Mm -hmm. So I've been out. And actually, and as I... Um, told you, Kristen, I had a knee replacement in November. So now I'm, I'm just getting back, but I'm more walking than running, but I'm still out there. Um, so I'm doing it by myself. And so I've actually, and I'm one who keeps, to keep me motivated in running, I would do races. I would do, you know, two and three, sometimes two and three races a week. It might be a 5k, might be a 10k, might be a half marathon, might be a marathon, might be a triathlon. Um, but now with the pandemic, pandemic, we can't do that. 
So I'm doing a lot of virtual races. Um, you know, I mean, I can just go out and do it, which I do, but that just keeps me motivated. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm doing a lot more by myself. I'm really enjoying my walking. Uh, and we also can't use the lakefront path. Although starting this week, we could, we could actually today, they mm -hmm. opened some of the lakefront path in Chicago. So um, I've not been out there, but I found I can go on the lakefront in the opposite direction where it goes mm -hmm. um, just to Ev Evanston outside of Chicago. Okay, great. And, you know, looking back on all the time that you've coached and mm -hmm run with other, even not as a coach, just running with other people. Mm -hmm. um, what, how do you approach somebody who's maybe getting discouraged? Um, maybe, you know, doubting that they can do this. How do you encourage them to stick with it? Um, to, well, you know, it's baby steps, you know, you can't just say, even though, like you said, a lot of people do go right to a marathon, but you didn't get up one morning and say, today I'm going to run a marathon. So even if it's your first race, you know, ideally, and most people do, you think about it ahead of time, you train for a long time. And just the same, you, I would just encourage people, you know, don't get discouraged because you have one bad day. You could have a bad day, you could have a great day. Um, cut back a little if you're finding it's, you know, too much for you. Do run walking instead of just running, you know, um, try different variety of things to help you stay motivated and um, I do little mind games too well during races but even not at races I do little mind games like um, from this pole to this garbage can I'm going to walk you know um, when I'm running I'm like okay I'm going to try and pass five people you know those things really help um, do you listen to music when you run um, you know, interestingly, when I, when I first started running, I did not listen to music at all. And of course, when I first started running, you had to run with your Walkman. <laughs> right. uh, we didn't have little phones or anything. So I, I didn't listen to music at all. And I could never quite understand people listening to music. Then when we got smaller devices and we were able to do it, I did listen to music and sometimes I do. But actually, now I've really been doing audiobooks. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I do audiobooks most of the time. Um, let's talk a little bit about, you know, your likes and dislikes as far as, you know, equipment and shoes and, and what kind of advice would you give a new runner about, you know, what's absolutely essential? Well, shoes is the most important thing, first of all, because you're on your feet that whole time. And personally for me, and I've tried lots of different shoes, I, um, I am an ASICs. I love Asics shoes. Me too. Um, I'm kind of with Brooks too now. I do like Brooks and I've tried all different. I'll find sometimes one I like, you know, maybe others, but for the most part, I stick with those. But I would say try different shoes and absolutely go to a running store and have them talk to them about your, you know, your, your, your feet, about, you know, what's comfortable for you. Um, have them look at your feet, look at your running style, because they will watch, you know, they'll watch you. And they're so helpful. I would definitely recommend that. Even if you don't want to continue with them, if you find a kind of shoe that works for you, and then you can go to somewhere else to get it. But definitely start with them. They know what they're talking about, and they will really help you. And most of them, even if the shoe doesn't fit for your running, they'll, re they'll exchange them, even if you've already used them. Um. How about uh, energy while you're out on the course at a, a race or whether you're running on your own? Do you have a preference? Um, yes. And, and, you know, through the years, things have changed. You know, they used to have just those power bars, which were horrible, horrible. Um, and then I would do the power gel. Um, but now my latest for me is the sport beans made by Jelly Belly. <laughs> um, I love them. And they're also, they don't, you know, they're not gooey or anything. It's easier to carry. So I like the sport beans. Um, I like those um, honey stingers, those like waffles. The only thing is they're difficult to carry if you're running. I do use those a lot, like before my races or after. Mm -hmm. I also am a big Jolly Rancher fan in between. Um, I do, do pop some Jolly Ranchers. I always have some in my pocket, but I pretty much stick with those. Mm -hmm. Um, so you mentioned earlier that you uh, ran the marathon in Alaska. Mm -hmm. um, of all the places that you've gone to run, what's your favorite? Oh my God, this is 
so difficult <laughs> because <laughs> I've run, I've, I've actually run 49 marathons. Wow. So, and I've run them all over the country and I've run some foreign ones. So there's, you know, each one, some are just, you know, something special about so many of them. So first of all, I've run the Boston Marathon and just that, just to be able to qualify. And I ran it by qualifying for it. Oh, wow. So I qualified for the Boston Marathon and I ran the Boston Marathon. Um, what an awesome experience, the whole thing, being there, um, qualifying, knowing that you qualified to do this and it is, and just to be part of it. So, I mean, that's one of them, but then I've run a marathon in Rome. Well, in Rome, you're running on the streets of Rome, <laughs> you know, you pass the Colosseum, you pass the Magnum Forum, you, you pass the Vatican. It's just an awesome ex it finishes and starts in front of the Coliseum so your finishing photo has you in in front of the Coliseum <laughs> <laughs> so I mean that's another one I ran in Dublin um I run in Stockholm I run the New York City Marathon mm -hmm. I run the, the Marine Corps Marathon plus you know others so it's it's really hard to say which is my favorite mm -hmm. um because there's so many different Chicago which just because I'm from Chicago and the the crowds are awesome you know, so there's just so many. Hawaii, I've run in Hawaii. So it's just so hard to say. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Rome, probably Rome and Boston are on my top top two, if I have to say. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, running is such a, a fascinating way to see a new place. Like, what are your thoughts? Oh, yes. On, you know, seeing a new place as a runner. Mm-hmm. Um, my when I was in New York, um, my brothers came with me. Um, that was my first time ever being in New York. My brothers have both been there several times for business, and my brother, one of my brothers, would go there frequently, and he knew it, and he traveled it. And then when I did the marathon, he was like, and you know, the in New York, you you go through all the boroughs, mm -hmm. so you cross bridges, every bridge to every borough, so you go through every borough. And my, as my brother said to me, he's like, oh my gosh, Donna, you've been to more places in New York than I have. And you see things that you wouldn't see. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so do you think, you know, by the same token, um, oh. running the Chicago Marathon, you know, it's, it, does it give you a different view of the things that you already know? Um, in Chicago? Mm -hmm. um, well, yes, I've run Chicago so many times mm -hmm. that you know, now I just know the course and that. Um, but when I first started doing Chicago, I was, yes, I was going through neighborhoods and stuff that I really didn't see so much. And I love to think about as I'm running it about what other people who aren't from Chicago get to see of Chicago. Mm -hmm. Because you really do get to see so many neighborhoods in Chicago and so many different parts of Chicago. Yep. And you know, what, when the races start again, um, what are you most looking forward to? Um, just the crowds, the, the, the excitement. I mean, you know, your first marathon, there's nothing like your first marathon. And um, it's so nice coaching because I love kind of live, living vicariously through the participants when it's their first marathon. But I still get that excitement. Um, you know, when you're getting ready to start and you're walking to the start line and all the hoopla and going to the expos. So, so that, and just seeing all my running friends and seeing, you know, the people. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, that's, I asked you everything that I want to know. Is there anything that you want to add um, about running or life in general oh oh well i i mean you know my friends all think i'm well i don't they all think because a lot more runners but some of my friends are just think i'm crazy <laughs> <laughs> and um i have one friend who he that uh, that i work with and um he has been like stuck by me with all this with my running so much like he actually came to watch me in my first marathon and we would compare, you know, we would talk about it and he would run a little bit and he wasn't, he had been an athlete. He was a basketball player. So he, you know, he would do that, but he was like, I just can't run down. I can't do the running. And so, you know, I would be so enthusiastic about running and I would talk to about it people and he would be so funny. So many times he's like, he would be like, don't let her get you sucked into her cult. <laughs> um, but so many people, you know, 
I would talk about it and, you know, encourage people. And there actually, there's a lot of people I work with now and I can't say, oh, because of me, they've done it. But I know we've kind of forged this little group. Sometimes we run together, we'd run races together and do things. And it's so nice to share that with people. Mm -hmm. um, some people just like, oh my God, I could never do that. And I just want to say to anybody, if I can do it, you can do it. And believe me, I was not an athletic person. I never in my wildest dreams thought I could do this. As a matter of fact, when my brother talked me into doing it, I even remember telling him, well, David, I can do, you know, 5Ks and 10Ks, maybe at marathon, but I don't know if I could do that. And I was like, it's not like I'm ever going to be running the Boston Marathon or anything. And I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. And then I, I went on from there to do triathlons just because we were doing, my brother did some with me too. We were kind of like, okay, let's branch out. Let's try triathlons. And then I continued that, which I still do. And I've actually done an Ironman triathlon. Oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. You know, just to, I, I guess to challenge myself. And then I just feel like, okay, just keep going. <laughs> uh -huh. And it's just made me more confident in, in so many other things too. You know, when I did my first marathon, just shy of my 40th birthday. So then I said, well, when I turn 50, what am I going to do then? So that's actually when I did my Ironman, just before 50. So kind of to push myself, this isn't running related or anything. So then I said, well, what am I going to do before I turn 60? So um, actually, I went skydiving. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, just because uh, it, it, you know, and, and I did it too. I, I have to say that... Um, my son also pushes me towards these. <laughs> I get so emotional. <laughs> um, um, I have a 22-year-old son, and my son is a United States Marine. Mm -hmm. And my son having the courage to do that <clears throat> pushed yeah. me to say, oh, I can jump out of an airplane right. if my son can be a Marine. So, and he's encouraged me through so many things too. And now I have to say, he, he talked me into, well, he didn't talk me into it. He used to ask me to do it and I wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it. And that's when I said, you know, I do marathons, I can do triathlons and I can jump out of a plane. And if Tommy can join the Marines, I can jump out of the plane. And I did. And actually it was pretty awesome. <laughs> and, um, and now my son does that as a living, for a living. He's, he's oh. a Marine and he's a recon Marine. So he does uh, parachuting and he's actually in dive school right now. <laughs> oh. Oh, so, definitely. yeah. So, and I think, I think doing all these run, running and marathons has just given me more confidence to do these things and other things in my life. Yeah. So I would say to people, you know, don't think of it as just as a drudgery or anything. It really does. It, it soothes your soul. You know, it really, you find friends and, and for me, it really has built my confidence in doing other things. Great. Well, thank you so much for Thank you. taking the time to talk to me uh -huh. and tell me about your running story. Mm -hmm. um, you know, definitely uh, an inspiration. Um, uh, the things you've accomplished are, are just Oh, amazing. thank you. <laughs> so. Thank you so much.